No matter how much time is spent around the busy and fast downtown Denver, there are still some things that stop Lauren Trensky. I've lived here 19 years. And Larry Neely. I started managing here in 2007. In their tracks. We're being shot at, we're targets. He was taking target practice at neighbors. Like, that's not okay. On June 14th, Larry and Lauren were alerted of a window shot out on the 10th floor of the Bovalon condos. Later that night, we had a report that glass fell from one of the penthouse windows, uh, which would have been hit earlier in the day. And I called the police and I pretty much demanded that they send somebody to investigate. And that was the first incident. Then July 4th came and someone captured this video of a person that appears to be shooting at the Bovalon. The person is standing next to a silver car with a blue decal on the side. Yeah, I mean, obviously I live here and I have a balcony that faces that direction. And so it's unnerving. I mean, we're freaked out too. Freaked out is how the employees at Just Burritos felt on Saturday in Broomfield. Police were called here for a shots fired incident. A bullet can be seen lodged into the window siding. According to court documents, a witness followed the suspect and Broomfield police arrested him in this car. A car some believe looks similar to the one seen in the Bovalon condo shooting video. Broomfield police say they are aware of the similarities between the incidents and are collaborating with the other law enforcement agencies, including the Denver Police Department. Denver police refuse to say if they're investigating to see if they're related, but for those at the Bovalon, they're convinced. I mean, Absolutely. hopefully that Broomfield hopefully got him and we're thankful, very thankful. Now, prior to the shooting at the Broomfield restaurant, court documents say Fairchild allegedly threw a rock through the front window of someone's house. The homeowner confronted Fairchild and told that person, Fairchild told that person to stop monitoring them. During his arrest, he told police to look inside the restaurant as well as that house for equipment he believes is monitoring people. Tom. So there's a lot to follow up on with just that part about this idea that Fairchild believes he's being monitored. Exactly. There's a lot of details here that we're trying to work through. And honestly, we've been getting calls and messages from other people. So I think it's something that we all kind of need to collectively look through. But also, Denver police still won't say if they are actually looking into this as a connection to their shootings, the incidents in Broomfield. So that's something we're hoping to confirm as well. The similarity in that car certainly tells part of the story, but it'll be uh, very interesting to follow up the, the link between Denver and uh, Broomfield police. I know you stay on it. We'll have more on this coming up at 5 o'clock. Thanks to Lisa.